New at 6, St. Johns County is considering taking over JEA utilities within its boundaries. Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace looks into what that could mean for St. Johns County customers. I just spoke with the St. Johns County spokesperson about this issue. What he was able to tell me is that they are requesting more information from JEA for them to be able to determine the value of those assets. Action News Jax has been following the possible sale of JEA since 2012. Monday, we told you the utility began accepting bids for a possible sale. Today, we found part of it may not be available for buyers. Right now, JEA has the right to serve thousands of homes in St. Johns County. For this portion of utilities, the county spokesperson told me they have the first right of refusal. This is the interlocal agreement between the county and JEA, signed in 1999. Now, with the possibility of a sale, Michael Ryan told me the county has requested information from JEA so they can determine the value of assets. This is to make sure county commissioners are prepared if they decide to take action. If the county does repurchase this portion of JEA, the St. John's Utility Director Bill Young told me they're ready to serve those customers. He's out of town, so I spoke to him over the phone. When there's an opportunity for the county to purchase back the service area for us to serve it, we're, um, we're optimistically, you know, we're happy about that. In 2018, there were more than 28,000 JEA customers in St. John's County. Depending on the meter size, Young says these customers' bills could change. I mean, we'll stay similar, but are sure to be different a little bit, higher or lower, um, within a few dollars per month, most likely. Reporting in St. John's County, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jack.